FBI report, June 12, 1964. Anonymous caller at 140 says Malcolm X will be bumped off. America's uh, whole situation is a lunatic fringe. Anytime you have a country that refers to itself as the free world and a democracy, and at the same time has 22 million of its citizens who aren't uh, permitted citizenship, why that in itself reflects lunacy, uh, a collective lunacy on the part of Uncle Sam. And you almost have to be insane to deal with an insane man or an insane situation. I met him just a week or so before he died at an airport. And he told me there that he had, had a telephone call with Martin Luther King. And they were going to meet and try to amalgamate their two forces, his organization of Afro-American unity and Martin's Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and sort of divide the country into North and South, Martin in the South and Malcolm in the North. It would have been a great movement with these two charismatic men. And I think the government had to stop that at any cost. The day that Malcolm was assassinated, February 21st, 1965, I have never seen him with the kind of expression that he had on his face and in his being. I went to the Audubon with my son, Billy. He, he will worship Malcolm. When we went there, we couldn't help but feel there was something in the air. I wouldn't know how to pinpoint it, but there seemed to be a lot of anxiety. Don't think that I don't know how bad I make myself look by attacking an organization that I was once so inseparably a part of. But I'm not particularly concerned with how bad it makes me look. My prime concern is to expose it to the fullest of my ability let the chips fall where they may.